Hi everyone, today I'm going to make some heels or wheels gender reveal cutouts for centerpieces. And if you want to make the same exact cutouts, I've left an image in the description box below. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace over the image until it's all yellow. And then I'm going to go to trace and then I have my heel cutouts right here. I'm just going to release compound path. Now they are two separate pieces and here I'm just making sure the top layer is one piece by selecting the inner and outer heel and making it a compound path. And now I can just grab some pink or purple cardstock and cut this little piece out. And then I can grab black cardstock and cut this bottom layer out. So then when my silhouette cuts it, I can just glue this purple piece on top of this black piece. Now for the truck, now the truck is the same process, it just has a couple more pieces than the heel does. But basically I'm just tracing over the images and then I am going to release compound path so they're not stuck to each other. It's helpful to unstick the shapes that way I can cut them in different colored cardstocks. So since I don't want the circle shape to be undone inside the wheel, I'm first going to remove the wheel shape and I'm going to make the circle inside a compound path. That way it stays together. And this is what happens when I don't make it into a compound path. The other pieces get left behind. I know this sounds a little confusing, but once you get familiar with the software, you'll really know what compound path means. So what I like to do is I like to fill in the shapes with the colors that I'm going to cut them out in. That way I can organize, um, organize all the black shapes and cut them out into black cardstock. Like for these pieces, I'm going to group them together and I'm going to cut them out in white cardstock. But first I'm just putting them on the truck so I can see the truck as a whole because I'm a very visual person. And then this little piece will be cut out in black cardstock and it just goes right here on top of the car. And then I'm going to cut out the truck in blue glitter cardstock. So real quick, I'm just showing you how I group everything together. All the black pieces, I'm going to be grouping them together and cutting them out on black cardstock. The same goes as all my white little pieces. I'm going to just load in the white cardstock and cut them out in white and then the blue and the pink. So I'm just quickly showing you guys how I am putting it on the paper so I can cut them out. Okay, so fast forward, I've loaded all my paper into my silhouette and I have cut out all the pieces and organized them. And now I'm just going to show you how I put it together. And starting with the truck, I, these pieces are double sided so I'm just going to grab the truck and then I, I'm going to glue everything together. So this is how the wheels came out and then I'm just going to glue the wheels on top like this. and. This little black piece goes right here and then these little white circles go inside the wheel just like this and then I actually created this little white bumper thing on my own. I just made a little square and cut it out in my silhouette and then I just, I'm just using this tacky glue um, and as you can see I'm just having a hard time trying to grab these small pieces. Um, I just used a little dab of glue and I stuck it on there and this is pretty much self-explanatory. I glued everything on here using this tacky glue.
and as you can see I'm counting the little points on the wheels that way I glue all the wheels the same way and they're all about the same height. So I counted about five little points and I glued all the wheels the same and by points I mean those little things that are sticking out of the wheel. I think they're supposed to be the thread on the tire. And I glued down the other side already. Don't you just love editing? And I'm just gonna show you, I'm using these little skewers to stick everything, to stick the cutouts on. And I'm just gonna glue this truck. I'm actually putting a bunch of glue on it. And I'm also gonna use hot glue to stick these pieces together. And then the dowel's gonna go right in the middle of these pieces. And there you go, I'm pretty much finished with the truck. It wasn't that simple, now I got like four more to go. And then I'm gonna show you really quickly how I did the heels. The heels were super simple because it only has like two little pieces to it. And I forgot to show you guys this on the Silhouette software, but to make these things double-sided, I had to grab, let's say, like the pink part, and I had to flip, I had to duplicate the image and then flip it horizontally. So that way I can have a front side and a back side. And don't forget guys, I'm leaving the image in the description box below so you guys can download it onto your computer and then drag and drop it into your silhouette and then trace it from there. That way you could get the same cutouts. Um, and then for this piece, the or, I completely forgot to show you this too on my silhouette, but this is pretty simple. All you gotta do is get your text out and then type in or and choose a pretty cursive font. And that's pretty much it for this one. So this is how all the pieces came out after I finished them. They came out pretty good. Uh, the ore was not double sided because I mean the double sided wouldn't make sense on the wording. But the heel and the truck came out really nice. This is so cute. You could put this on some center pieces for a heels or wheels gender reveal party. 
and I hope this was easy for you guys to follow along and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at creative goods. Don't forget to like this video um, and subscribe for more videos.